So ladies and gentlemen, what basically we're asking you to do is identify the slope of this equation to represent the slope, basically the tangent line. So as we talked about, m equals the limit as x, I'm sorry, yep, as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And that is basically this last formula that we're working on, right? So what we can simply do is we need to determine what is f of x and what is f of x plus h. Well, f of x is equal to y, right? So we could say f of x equals x squared. Now, f of x plus h, and usually I like to do these on the side, is x plus h squared. Now you're going to see a lot of these, so you're going to want to remember this. x plus h squared is a binomial squared. We need to get used to multiplying binomial squareds. And you guys can see that if you apply FOIL, you can do this in your head. Give you x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Right? x times x is x squared, h times h is h squared, x times h plus x times h. All right, so now let's go and plug all this in. So therefore, I have limit as h approaches 0. Uh, now, first of all, we know that, uh, let's just look at it, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. Now, fortunately, when you guys look at this, if we were going to evaluate the limit, which you'll be doing in your test next class period, you'd notice that we cannot evaluate the limit here, right? Because you'd be dividing by 0. So we're going to need to, direct substitution is not going to work. So we need to be, basically see if we can simplify this. Well, fortunately, if I kind of remove this parentheses, because I don't really need them, you can see that my x squareds divide out. And then here, I have an h that I can factor out. So therefore, I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0 of um, factored out an h of 2x plus h all over h. Yes? So therefore, the limit as h approaches 0, as my h is now divide out, is just going to be left with 2x. Because as I now apply direct substitution, um, as I now apply direct substitution, you know, h is 0. So therefore, so I can say the, my slope as a function is going to be 2x. Now, that's very, very important. Very, very important. 